What is up guys, we are going to be doing our restoration videos for our 350Z headlights. Let's mask this off, protect the paint a little bit. This is kind of what it looks like on the other side, which I already did. And this is like more of the after results. Looks completely different. Today we are using the Turtle Wax Headlight Refer Kit from AutoZone or Riley's, whatever. Your local auto store probably has it. A little close up of the actual issue that we're running into. Maybe not all of it, but at least a good chunk should be removed and at least get this clear again. These are pretty beat. So in the box, this is pretty much what you're gonna get. You're gonna get the clarifying compound, which we're gonna use right away. We're gonna be pairing that up with two cloths, which were not included in this kit, and then the masking tape. So getting started here, we're just gonna go ahead and play a little bit. Some good stuff. Keep in mind, I did already wash the headlights. That was a prerequisite to all this. So let's get started. This should get rid of most of the oxidation that you see. And we're going to be generous with the spring. Just going up and down. And every different layer you're just going to keep going either vertically or horizontally. All it says is that you want to cross it, so at least a 90 degree change in direction. Okay, so before we go on to the finer grits, I'm gonna just take off all this solution, whatever this is, and then see if that's how I like it. Cause with the finer grits, that's only gonna get you that like nicer finish, not exactly take away the imperfections that you're trying to get rid of. So, got my rag here. I see there's some fine scratches in here. A lot of oxidation on here, probably from the inside. Definitely could be, but I just removed the solution, the weird one. It's looking all right. I think I want to keep going. Or should I just polish it out? I think I should just sand it because I don't know if this is actually going to get out. up here not looking bad not looking bad at all not a hundred percent but you know once this looks good we'll start polishing it went through the four levels of the grids coordinated by color
All right, I'm just gonna let that dry until it turns hazy, and then we'll wipe it off. About that time, you can see that chemical reaction. But look at that, clears up the view. And we actually pray to see at night. Definitely was having that issue. Oh yeah. It has come to my understanding that this glove was meant to be used for only putting on the lens. Because it's an eye irritant or something. So this is going to be the base coat. Let's see how it comes. I think you might have to do both of these. And then you open this one time. You get that sealant. It's only going to be one in here, I think. Let's get one to apply on both sides. Base coat. Go ahead and just wipe that on. Oh, well, we have to wait for that to dry and then we can put the sealing coat on. They say it could take 24 hours for it to cure, but it's drivable right away. Once it's dry, which not quite there yet, you can go ahead and put the lens sealing wipe. All right, so pretty much dried. Here we go. Which we're doing at the same time, so this one's dry too. So there you have it, fourteen dollars or something like that. Well, I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I would probably do it again if I ran into this issue, which hopefully doesn't happen too soon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like in the video, subscribe down below, and see you guys next time. Peace.